So today we are going to be reacting to the Sims 4 Life and Death official gameplay trailer and it premieres in just a few minutes. And this is a little weird. They're playing like a 29 second video before the premiere, basically promoting the digital content that you have to get by December 12th. Um, yeah, I don't know. It being a video kind of worries me because like, is it gonna like play when it's actually ready? I'm kind of curious to see what it's gonna be like how long it's gonna be hopefully it's a very lengthy one and hopefully it's a good one because i feel like a lot of the time gameplay trailers aren't as good at revealing what's all in the pack obviously they don't want to reveal everything but i think it's kind of hard to see what comes in the pack just through the trailers it says it's gonna play at 10 58 a.m but i really think it's just gonna be a two minute countdown oh my gosh look at the graves we're definitely getting new graves with these packs and i'm so excited because like they all look different i don't think they all should look the same okay so dave posted this little video of this grim outfit and that is so cute like i wonder if there's like any other colors like red is there green is there purple because that is so cute i'm so excited to like play as grim i'm still concerned like okay it's playing yeah it's a two minute countdown okay that's good so it seems to be like a new chair new windows I like this lamp. Oh, I love this. This could be a new desk, I think, and new floors, and obviously a new wallpaper. I don't know about the bookcases, to be honest with you. They might be new. Oh, a little- <gasps> Is that a child? Did a child just walk by in, like, the grim outfit? That is crazy. Everyone is saying hey to Simsy. Hey, Simsy. Do you think if I type in the chat- She probably has it closed by now, honestly. Honestly, the chat is a lot. You can really hear the crows in this video. 20 seconds. I'm a little nervous. If it's playing and I'm quiet, don't worry. I'm just taking it all in. Sometimes I have to rewatch to notice things. Okay, it should be starting. Oh, this is fun. That's a cute shirt. Oh. Ooh. Ghost cow plant. The sky is red. That's a cute house. So it's an active career at that law, I assume. Those who live a life chased by death certainly improve our odds. You all know the law. But hey, you have to admit these sins seize every moment. The number of young adults that don't consider what they ultimately want to accomplish with their life is New woohoo spot for normal Sims. Your wants, trades, aspirations, these contribute to oh. a life. I'm so excited. Not enough. A bucket list, however, is a scientifically proven method of ensuring you find fulfillment. You can always scrap the list, start over, do more. Just start. Better to do today what you could have done tomorrow. <gasps> oh, I love the furniture. In fact, I'd seriously consider getting a will drawn up if I were you. Seven out of ten souls regret not having one after they've died. Get your Ooh. affairs in order. It may be your last chance to tell those you leave behind how you truly I love this. Did you know the earliest grave? The urns. The graves. I am fascinated the many ways you living souls memorialize. So you can choose to like display a grave or urn. I'd be smiling. Sorry, I've been told I lack a certain connection with mortality. I have an affinity for those whose great is the macabre. Macabre. There are also skeptics among you. I get it. I'll do better. TLDR point is you die. I think that's a cute hair. Game over. No, no, no. Oh. There's a whole state of life waiting beyond the 
become a playable ghost, a rebirth. There's so much. Skill tree. You can use your powers for good to make life a little easier for others. Oh my gosh. And keep the status quo. On the other hand, maybe you want to get a little nasty. Oh, no judgments here, literally. I have no oh, that's scary. And then he can rebirth. I respect the soul finishing start. Now Dimitri's ghostly powers won't get burnt out. And should he choose to be reborn, he'll basically I, I don't know be better than he was the first time around. Yeah, rebirth. It's a real hot button issue back in the office. <laughs> Simply put, it is possible to bring pieces of yourself into your next life. Things like childhood skills and reward traits. You can start fresh at any age. Even change your appearance. Come back as your own great grandchild. Or join your rich neighbor's household. Oh my goodness. This might. I think this might be the best gameplay trailer ever. Oh my gosh. I don't think I will regret it, but I won't pre-order. Just buy it after you see the reviews. Oh my gosh. That video is five minutes long. Do you know how good that is? That is so different. Um, wow. I just, I'm so excited for this pack. We will go over the video again just to like look at stuff. But I want to say like the ghosts have a skill tree. Mind you, this is an expansion pack. I know Island Living came out pretty early as well as like get to work with the aliens but they don't have a skill tree. Aliens and mermaids kind of suck. Well they do suck. Like if ghosts can have a skill tree surely aliens and mermaids can. I don't know if they would update them but if they could that would be amazing and oh my gosh I'm so excited like I never thought to play as a ghost but now I want to. Like that's something I would definitely do. Maybe not often. It depends on the sim but I'm pretty Pretty attached to most of my sims so we can see how that goes but let's play the video again okay so obviously there seems to be a new bench and I don't know like do we have plants like this in base game that looks like this because this looks different like the way it's growing it looks different we have a curl we can see like the new windows and maybe a new column okay so we can see the new fountain and I did say I like this shirt it's very cute it's very nice like I love the floor Oh, is that a new hair too? I think she had a new hair on. I think it's like a bun, but it's kind of hard to see it. Like, yeah, we can kind of see it. Like, it's braided back into a bun. That is cute. And then we have our ghost cow plant. But yeah, you can still get eaten by a ghost cow plant. And I think that's so cool. Because usually they would just be dead. But now they can be a ghost and still mess with you, basically. So don't eat the ghost cake from the cow plant. But we have some more looks at the different graves. We can see this very scary area and then we have like a red sky oh this bed is cute again i love the florals and then we have a house burning down not so good oh yeah and we also have a new swing set it's a different vibe from the other ones that we have and this looks like i don't want to say it's a new woodworking table but it looks like a new woodworking table it looks different and honestly i don't know if it is but like what is this on top of it so is it a new woodworking table i i'm not sure but we can see this face in the back which I feel like maybe that's grim when you know he's not in his little uniform oh no okay, and then we have this scary little world this is the portal and I feel like this is just grim's workplace
place it could be his home as well i feel and i feel like the graham career is like active i'm pretty sure it's active like i'm pretty sure they said that in the blog post or it's like somewhere before so i think you probably come here for work which i think is pretty cool there are some glowing plants we can see we can see the new windows that's all so nice oh my gosh and look there's like a tear in the ceiling yeah it says the netherworld department of death so this is like the new workplace area and i'm so excited for it oh yeah this is definitely new the chandelier is cute this chandelier is cute we have a cute doors it looks like we have like a gallery wall of photos of Grimm holding an urn that's so cute i love it i'm pretty sure this is a new desk oh and then we have like a new file cabinets it looks like this looks like a plant and i think this is a bookshelf but they look like binders and also again the new flooring the new wallpaper it looks also good oh and this is a new flower as well but it's all black and i think these are curtains oh and they're practicing on the doll to read them and it seems like the Grimm is mentoring them and this is the portal this is what it looks like i hope this world has a lot of collectibles um or i guess i say collectibles they never mention any collectibles but that could be fun or you could collect graves that could be fun as well but what i meant is like i hope there's a lot of digging spots because i feel like some of the newer worlds they have less than base game but this is a nice scary world <gasps> they do have red i didn't notice that this also looks different it's like all purple this is cute so i assume this is like a special thing you have to unlock from the career i assume and we have this little area and this is what shocked me like this that is cool that is cool so i turn off the captions real quick just so i can look at this outfit but we do have a different look at this hair and i think this outfit is pretty cute and this might be a new shoe i believe and maybe a new tattoo it's hard to tell oh oh we have a new crow sweater that's also cute that's so cool i love it oh my gosh the new kitchen i didn't even notice the new kitchen i just saw he got electrocuted and that's it oh my gosh so we have new war down decals which is nice um um, I will say I don't like that it's clogging up the painting category, but that's it. But we have a new look at this new plant, these new candles, the new chairs, the new table, the new counter set. Like, oh my gosh, look at this. I'm so excited. I don't know, depending on the swatches, I may or may not use it a lot. We also have matching cabinets, which thank goodness we have. We don't have matching cabinets with the Room of Magic ones, but thankfully I think they learned their lesson from that. But this looks so good, like the new sink. The fridge is what really makes me love it because it's like glass you can see through it and i think that looks so good and also i feel like these cabinets will pair well with the growing together appliances just because like the stove i think it also has like a black and gold swatch and i don't know sometimes it's hard to match other counters with that set oh is that like a hole in the floor yeah he's dying that's so sad chased by death and we can have more looks at the outfits again i don't think this is necessarily my style but i do think it's cute like i love this dress she's wearing and then this little crow outfit for infants are toddlers that's so cute Ooh, i think we have a new fence and gate and there's like a train going back there oh i think this is also a new pergola it has to be right and then over here we have a guy looking at the telescope i think this area is cute i really love when they put water and then we have like this little ottoman thingy and then we have this i can't really tell what it is honestly but it looks cute this part it only seems like now at least vampires are the only ones that can like woohoo in coffins but i think they made it to where normal sims can woohoo in coffins as well which is very fun and we can look at the graves again and i think this is a nice vest that he is wearing Ooh, i love the hair but yeah that's fun oh the hair is adorable i love the new hair that's cute the soul's journey is so exciting to me like that is going to be so useful but yeah like i'm so excited for this i'm so excited for the bucket list we have this cool little tree i love how the world is scary over here in this area i think that's nice ghost historian okay looking at the furniture again it looks like we have this new couch which is cute we have an art that matches the style i believe this is a new door new windows new shelf definitely a new bookshelf i think because it has books in it and we also have like this new one tile ottoman which is cute i love this little console table i didn't notice that there were crows on this and skulls. So we have our new desk. 
mask. I think this is a new lamp with the crow on it. And then we have a quill. I don't know if I should just point out everything that I see, but I'm excited. And I love the new outfit, honestly. I love this outfit. But it seems like you can tap on the journal to make a bucket list. So bucket list, make heirloom, put in inventory. And we have scrap bucket list, write the perfect goal, write goal from category, or just write a goal. So this is the well of regret and longing, I guess. Okay, now this. Oh, I love the rug. This rocking chair is cute and this little ottoman is cute. That's kind of what shocked me when I was watching the trailer. I was like, oh, that rug is adorable. Part of the window has broken. Oh, is she dying from starvation? Oh, new shoes. I didn't notice that. Are these new nails? I'm not sure. So it seems like you meet the lawyer over here to make your will, which is cool because it adds something to the new world to do. Being able to make a will is so amazing. So we can ask about funerals, ask about wills, start a will, or ask about about heirlooms. Oh, and there's also this cute little table. They have a bunch of boxes, which honestly, like, is this really their office? Because it seems like it's their office because they have a bunch of boxes. Like, do you not have an actual space? And we're looking at the leave personal note part and we can set an emotion, which I think is very smart. So you can tell them how they should feel when they read the note. They clicked playful and it says, I hated you all, but obviously it's supposed to be a joke. Oh, and then this part. So you can now choose if you want to have like the urn showing or the grave showing. Cause usually before you would have to place it on a floor tile or on a coffee table like that in order for the urn to show. And for the grave to show, you have to place it on like the ground. It can't be like a floor tile. It has to be like on the ground or on terrain paint for it to show. And now you can choose. And I'm happy to see that we have new urns because I think the base game one is ugly. But yeah, we have a new look at the graves. So that's cute. So far, we have seen new graves. We haven't seen any new urns yet. Um. Oh, these flowers are so cute. And the candles. We only see the different colors of this one, which is fine, I guess. Oh, so. Oh, hold on. So it seems we have eight graves to choose from and there are seven new ones. This is the old grave, the base game grave. Like this one is so different from the others. I really hope we have more than that one urn. I know it depends on like what your occult type is. So like if you're an alien, you get a special type of grave and urn. But like I wish for normal sims we would have more grave or urn types, I guess. And on Twitter, a uh, sim guru did kind of hint at being able to choose a grave from another cult even if you're a normal sim because they gave the example of like oh maybe you really love mermaids and you just wanted a mermaid grave so you don't have to be like a mermaid to have that grave so I think that's cool as well to be able to have like more choices that way but I still wish there were more urns if you know what I mean like you probably can choose from like the occult urns if you have that pack but I still hope there's more than just like the life and death one and then the base game one because the base game one is so ugly I know I know I just said a lot, but we have another look at this wallpaper and a lighter swatch. I love that rug. The rugs are cute. The chair, the table, that's also cute. I don't know. I can't see this fully, but I feel like it's a grandfather clock. We have a crow. We do have a new fireplace. Oh, and a painting of Sims trying to grab the cake from the cow plant. That is not good. Oh, and this table is cute as well. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's nice. I don't really use a lot of gold, but I feel like I need to. Oh, new hair as well. I'm sorry. New hair new earrings the earrings are so cute oh yeah that is a grandfather clock and it looks so much better than the base game one the base game one has like a weird texture i feel and here's a look at the new heels not my favorite they feel like so stubby and i just don't like it if that makes sense and then look we have a trunk and like these new wall paintings a new shelf and like this dresser thingy is cute and then here's a closer look at like the book shelf i still can't believe this is five minutes like we're still going and that's kind of insane this hair looks cute. Like, this is definitely new. I love the bangs. I think the bangs look so adorable. And this is the old screen. But then we have a new screen. Can become a playable ghost or become a free roaming ghost, which I think is nice. And then obviously you have the option to rebirth after you continue your soul's journey as a ghost. I will say one thing that I don't like about ghosts is how you can't see their feet. But also, like, I know it makes sense that they're, like, see through like I know that they're supposed to be a little transparent obviously but I don't know it's just like it's not going to be fun dressing them up because you can't see them like you can't even see the coloring of the clothes they wear so it doesn't really matter and that's like the only part because
because I love giving my sims like makeovers and like changing their clothes and everything but it does make sense so I'm not gonna complain about it too much because like obviously duh they're a ghost Ooh. and then we have this little area that they're showing us so they do have new desires as a ghost so they want to complete more of their soul's journey so we have ghost woohoo comfort the living become a supreme ghost and so ghostly chaos and also new powers I want to like hover over these and see what they do obviously this is like bad ghost vibes and then this is good ghost vibes and then this is like neutral they're just playing it what is that oh by the way this is cute we have bone hilda i didn't notice that is that like what is that i also did not notice the new bathroom this is why you have to watch the video over because you miss so much so we have a new sink and a tub it looks like and a new bathroom shelf that's cute a new mirror and a new rug of course i love the new sink i think this is a cute style they went for and also i think this is a new robe and look at this wallpaper it's cute i feel like i either don't look at the plants too closely i probably don't look at the plants that closely because i thought they were shaped differently like surely these are bluebells daisies chrysanthemums i think maybe i just don't look at how they grow too closely because i feel like they were shaped differently Ooh, and then we have a look at this scarier world and this part where he is like shaking them upside down is crazy like he's probably stealing his change that has to be terrifying for the sim and then he got a trait because he finished his soul's journey and then like the rebirthing part oh also this water is so beautiful but also i just love the fact that you can rebirth because like they said like you could rebirth as your grandchild or whatever i think that's so cool so like you could kind of maybe play in a different part of the family and i think that's just nice because like i think it's cool like you could play as the child of your used to be cousins i guess but now you're their child if that makes sense and that could just be a way for you to play with a different part of the family like i even like the idea of rebirthing them and maybe not even playing with them but you know deep down that that is your grandma in a past time like i think that's so cool and then yeah you can just choose oh you can just choose anywhere i'm so stupid you want to know why i'm so stupid because you know on twitter i've been okay i have been on twitter but usually i feel like before the live stream the world always gets leaked right it always gets leaked so i did block the word leak from twitter hoping i won't see any Anything. But I'm so stupid. I didn't even notice they showed the world. Like I noticed him choosing a house, but I guess I just didn't register it. But we can see we can see the world from here. So we have three neighborhoods: this one, this one, and then this one. This one seems to be the darker area, which makes sense. And we do have a graveyard lot type. I'm excited to see that. And I'm not sure if any of these are like replaced buildings or if these come in the actual pack. But it seems we would get a bar and a night studio maybe and I just counted and I think we have 13 lots which I know some people are not gonna like but honestly I don't mind it being that small and it seems we have some pretty big lots and we do also have like some smaller ones which is also nice but yeah I like the map it's different it looks very cute but he also says here that like you can rebirth at any age so you can like start freshly as an infant or you could start as a teenager a child that's very nice and he also says like you're able to like bring pieces of yourself into your next life so like reward traits or childhood skills like he says here so you can bring over like still bladder your movement skill your high metabolism and i think that's nice it's a nice way to like i guess build up because you might not be able to get all the choices you want as your first life and also can i just say this is good for like the super sim challenge which is basically trying to do everything in game so like you're trying to get all the skills you're trying to get like all the reward traits i don't know if you're trying to get all the reward traits but that's how i look at it you're trying to complete all the aspiration and all the careers and etc and obviously if you started this before high school years and your sim is already a young adult you can't really rewind time unless you cheat to do that so like i like the idea of like rebirthing and then like you can choose to be a teenager again so that way you can like play the aspiration when you're rebirth i think that's also cool yeah i assume this this is new unfortunately they didn't show anything new for an infant not that i noticed at least and i believe this is a new hair yeah i feel like this is all new again new hair so yeah all this new stuff a new watch and ooh, i love this sweater we have new boots shorts 
you can also change your appearance. So that's cool. So you don't have to look the exact same, which is a rebirth. I don't think you should look the exact same. I guess you could leave on some features if you like them and it helps you remember like who they were. Oh, look at that new hair, cute. Oh, wait, I feel like we had an earring like this in Eco Lifestyle. So this has to be new. And also this is a new hair. I hate to see that we don't have new landscaping, honestly. <laughs> like, I feel like we could always use new landscaping. I assume there's probably some in live edit mode, but it would just be nice to have new landscaping in the actual category without typing in a cheat. So we have a look at this new door and like these new details. He just fell from the sky. That's cool. And we have a look at this new painting. And there's this thingy. Oh, and this painting is so cute. I love this. That's so cute. Oh, oh, maybe that's not actually grim. Hold on. Because for a second, I'm like, oh, wait, can you flirt with the grim now with this new pack? Because usually he says he's not interested in that type of relationship. That could just be a sim in a costume. But it seems like you can try for a baby with grim now. I think that's so cool if that's true. Oh. But yeah, that's the end of the video. There's really nothing else to discuss. And can I just say I don't have internet anymore? A spectrum is so annoying. So please let me know what you think in the comments and how excited you are for this pack because I'm so excited. Like I'm excited for like the new career to play as Grim. I'm excited for like the soul's journey, aka the bucket list. I'm excited to try to play as a ghost. I'm excited to rebirth. And hopefully the aspirations are good and not like very tutorial but yeah I'm excited like the will you can have a will that's beautiful I'm excited to have an actual graveyard instead of like a fake one I don't know I'm looking forward to this pack and I definitely think I will do like a series on this so stay tuned for that it will come out after October 31st but I'm excited for it um hopefully you are and yeah I think I'm gonna leave this video off here so if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe I post every day of the week so if you want sims content content every day. This is the place for that. I love you. You are important and I will see you guys soon. Bye!